My 68-year-old patient walked into my office last Tuesday with legs so swollen. She couldn't tie her own shoes. Three months later, she's hiking with her grandchildren every weekend. The difference? A single enzyme most people have never heard of. Here's what shocked me. This wasn't about medication, surgery, or some experimental treatment. This enzyme has been studied for decades, yet most seniors have no idea it exists. And the research on circulation support? It's compelling enough that I started recommending it to my own patients over 60. Now, I'm not saying this enzyme is a miracle cure. Nothing is. But when you understand how it works with your body's natural circulation processes, you'll see why heart doctors are having serious conversations about it especially for anyone concerned about leg swelling, discomfort, or sluggish circulation as they age. So today, I'm breaking down exactly what this enzyme is, how it may help support healthy leg circulation, and whether it might be worth discussing with your own doctor. Let me show you what the research actually says. I'm Dr. Sandra Cerati, and over my years working with heart patients, I've learned that sometimes the most powerful tools for supporting our health aren't the newest drugs. They're the overlooked compounds our bodies actually recognize and can use effectively. But before we dive into the science, let me be crystal clear about something important. This enzyme isn't about curing circulation problems. It's about supporting your body's natural processes. And that distinction matters. The enzyme we're talking about is called natokinase. And yes, I know that's a mouthful. It comes from a traditional Japanese food called natto, which is fermented soybeans. Now, before you click away thinking this is some exotic remedy, stay with me. Natokinase has been studied in published research for over 30 years. The reason heart doctors are interested? It appears to support healthy blood flow and circulation, particularly in the legs, where many seniors notice issues first. Here's how it may work. As we age, our circulation can become less efficient. Blood flow slows down. This can lead to that heavy, tired feeling in your legs, occasional swelling or discomfort after sitting or standing for long periods. Natokinase appears to support the body's natural ability to maintain smooth, healthy blood flow. Think of it as helping your circulatory system work the way it's designed to, not forcing it to do something unnatural. Now, I want to take a moment here because this is important. When we talk about circulation in your legs, we're really talking about how well your blood moves through your body from your heart all the way down to your toes and back up again. It's a long journey, and as the years go by, things can slow down a bit. You might notice your legs feel heavier at the end of the day. Maybe you see some puffiness around your ankles after you've been sitting for a while or perhaps you feel a bit of discomfort when you stand up after resting. These are all signs that your circulation might benefit from some extra support. What makes natokinase interesting is that it doesn't try to force your body to do something unnatural. Instead, it works alongside the systems you already have. Your body already knows how to circulate blood. Natokinase just helps make that process a little smoother, a little more efficient. Think of it like oiling a door hinge. The door still works the same way it always has. The oil just helps it move more easily, more quietly, with less effort. That's similar to what natokinase may do for your circulation. Multiple studies have looked specifically at how natokinase may benefit older adults. One study published in a respected research journal found that people taking natokinase showed improvements in circulation markers over an eight-week period. Another research review examined how this enzyme might support healthy blood thickness. Basically, how easily your blood flows through your vessels. For seniors, maintaining optimal blood flow becomes increasingly important for leg health and overall circulation. But here's what I always tell my patients. Enzymes like natokinase aren't magic bullets. They work with your body's existing systems. That means if you're already on blood thinners, have clotting concerns, or take certain medications, you absolutely need to talk to your doctor first. I want to dive a little deeper into why this matters so much as we get older. 
When you're younger, your body has a lot of reserve capacity. Your circulation system can handle stress, long periods of inactivity, and less than perfect lifestyle habits without too much trouble. But after 60, that reserve starts to decrease. Your blood vessels naturally become less flexible over time. The smooth muscle in your vessel walls doesn't respond quite as quickly as it used to. And the tiny valves in your leg veins that help push blood back up to your heart? They can become a little weaker. All of this is perfectly normal aging. It happens to everyone. But that doesn't mean we have to just accept uncomfortable legs or swelling as an inevitable part of getting older. And that's where supporting your body's natural processes becomes so valuable. The research on natokinase has shown some really encouraging things. In studies where people took this enzyme daily, researchers noticed that blood flow measurements improved. The blood moved more easily. The thickness, or what scientists call viscosity, became more optimal. And importantly, people reported feeling better. One thing I find particularly interesting is that natokinase appears to work gradually. It's not like taking a pain reliever where you feel different in 30 minutes. Instead, over weeks and months, people notice their legs feel lighter. They can walk further without discomfort. Their ankles look less puffy at the end of the day. This gradual improvement actually makes sense when you understand how the enzyme works. It's supporting natural processes that happen continuously in your body. You're not getting a sudden jolt of something foreign. You're giving your body a tool it can use day after day to maintain better circulation. Actually, let me show you something that might surprise you about who's already using this enzyme, because it's not just patients in my office. Active older adults, wellness-focused seniors, and even some preventive heart doctors are adding natokinase to their daily routines. And here's why. They're not waiting until they have serious circulation problems. They're being proactive. They're thinking about their leg health today so they can keep doing the activities they love tomorrow. Hiking with grandkids, traveling without worrying about leg discomfort, gardening without feeling like their legs are concrete blocks at the end of the day. This proactive approach is something I really encourage. Why wait until you're dealing with significant discomfort when you could support your circulation now? It's like maintaining your car. You don't wait until the engine seizes to change the oil. You do regular maintenance to keep everything running smoothly. Coming up in just a moment, I'll share the three things you need to know before ever considering this enzyme. But first, let me tell you what you might actually experience. So what might you actually notice if you discuss natokinase with your doctor and decide to try it? Based on patient feedback and research, here's what people report. First, leg comfort. Many seniors tell me their legs feel less heavy by the end of the day. That dragging, tired sensation seems to improve over several weeks. One patient described it as the difference between walking through water versus walking through air. Her legs just felt lighter, more responsive. Second, reduced swelling. While this isn't guaranteed, some people notice their ankles and calves appear less puffy, especially after long periods of sitting or travel. If you've ever taken a long car ride or a flight and gotten off with swollen ankles, you know how uncomfortable that can be. Some people taking natokinase report that this happens less often or is less severe when it does occur. Third, overall circulation support. This is harder to measure with your own eyes, but people often report feeling like their circulation is just working better. Their legs don't fall asleep as easily when they're sitting. They feel more comfortable moving around. They have more energy for the activities they enjoy. Let me share a specific example from my practice. I had a patient, Margaret, who loved to garden. She'd spend hours outside tending to her flowers and vegetables. But she told me that by the time she came inside, her legs felt like lead. They'd be swollen, achy, and she'd have to prop them up for an hour before she felt normal again. After discussing it with me and making sure it was safe given her other medications, Margaret started taking natokinase. She didn't notice anything dramatic at first, but after about six weeks, she realized she was gardening for the same amount of time 
without that heavy, exhausted feeling in her legs afterward. The swelling was minimal. She could come inside and move on with her day instead of having to rest. That's the kind of real-world improvement I hear about most often. It's not dramatic or instantaneous, but over time, people realize they're doing more, feeling better, and not thinking about their leg discomfort as much as they used to. Now, I have to be honest with you. Natokinase doesn't work for everyone. Some people notice significant improvements. Others notice subtle changes. And some don't notice much at all. That's the reality of any approach that supports natural body processes. We're all different. Our bodies respond differently. What works beautifully for one person might not do much for another. But here's what I can tell you. The people who seem to benefit most are those who use natokinase as part of a comprehensive approach to circulation health. They're also staying hydrated. They're moving regularly, even if it's just gentle walking. They're elevating their legs when they rest. They're wearing comfortable shoes. All of these things work together. Which brings me to an important question I'd love your input on. Have you noticed any changes in your leg circulation as you've gotten older? Drop a comment below and let me know what concerns you the most. Is it swelling? Cramping? That heavy, tired feeling? Or something else? I read every single comment, and your experiences help me create better content for this community. All right, if you're still with me and thinking this might be worth exploring, here are the three non-negotiables before you ever take natokinase. Number one, talk to your doctor. I cannot stress this enough. If you're on blood thinners like warfarin, taking aspirin therapy, or on any medication that affects how your blood clots, natokinase could interact. Your doctor needs to know. They need to evaluate your specific situation and make sure this is safe for you. This isn't just me being overly cautious. Natokinase affects how your blood flows. If you're already on medication that does the same thing, combining them without medical supervision could be risky. Always, always check with your healthcare provider first. Number two, quality matters tremendously. Not all natokinase supplements are created equal. When you're looking at products, you want to see something called FU, or fibrinolytic units, listed on the label. Typically, 2,000 FU is a standard research dose. That's what's been studied. That's what's shown benefits. You also want to look for third-party testing. Seals from organizations like NSF or USP tell you that an independent lab has verified that what's on the label is actually in the bottle. No contaminants. No fillers you don't want. Just pure, quality natokinase at the dose that's listed. I know supplements can be confusing. There are so many brands, so many claims, so many price points. But when it comes to something you're putting in your body every day to support something as important as your circulation, quality is worth paying for. Don't just grab the cheapest bottle you find. Do a little research. Read labels. Look for those third-party testing seals. Number three, give it time. This isn't a quick fix. Most people who report benefits notice them gradually over four to eight weeks. Some people notice changes sooner. Some take a bit longer. But if you're expecting overnight results, you'll be disappointed. This gradual timeline can actually be a good thing. It means the enzyme is working with your body's natural rhythms. It's not shocking your system. It's gently, consistently supporting better circulation day after day. But you do need patience. I usually tell patients to commit to at least two months if they're going to try natokinase. Take it consistently at the same time each day. Pay attention to how you feel. Notice whether your legs are more comfortable, whether swelling is reduced, whether you have more energy. Keep a simple journal if that helps. Then, after two months, you can evaluate whether it's making a difference for you. Let me address one more thing that I know is on a lot of people's minds. Is natokinase safe? For most people, yes. The safety profile in research studies has been quite good. People generally tolerate it well without significant side effects. However, 
there are some people who should not take natokinase. If you have a bleeding disorder, if you're scheduled for surgery within the next two weeks, if you've had a recent stroke or are at high risk for bleeding, natokinase is not for you. Again, this is why that conversation with your doctor is so critical. Some people experience mild digestive upset when they first start taking natokinase. Usually, this resolves within a few days as your body adjusts. Taking it with food can help. But if you experience any concerning symptoms, stop taking it and contact your healthcare provider. I also want to zoom out for a moment and talk about the bigger picture of leg health as we age. Natokinase can be a valuable tool, but it's just one tool. Supporting healthy circulation requires a multifaceted approach. Movement is crucial. Even gentle walking for 20 or 30 minutes a day can make a tremendous difference in leg circulation. When your leg muscles contract, they help push blood back up toward your heart. That's why people who sit all day often have more circulation issues than people who move regularly. Hydration matters too. When you're well hydrated, your blood flows more easily. When you're dehydrated, your blood becomes thicker and more sluggish. Aim for plenty of water throughout the day, unless your doctor has told you to restrict fluids for some reason. Compression socks or stockings can be helpful, especially if you have noticeable swelling. They provide gentle pressure that helps move fluid out of your legs. They're not the most fashionable accessory, I'll admit, but many of my patients swear by them. Elevating your legs when you rest gives gravity a chance to help move fluid back toward your heart. Even 20 minutes with your legs up on a few pillows can make a difference. And of course, managing other health conditions is important. If you have diabetes, keeping your blood sugar well controlled supports better circulation. If you have high blood pressure, managing that protects your blood vessels. Everything is connected. So when we talk about natokinase supporting leg circulation, I want you to see it as part of this larger picture. It's a tool that can help, potentially a very helpful one, but it works best when combined with other healthy habits. So here's my bottom line as a heart doctor. Natokinase is one of the more promising natural compounds for supporting healthy circulation, especially in seniors over 60. The research is solid enough to take seriously. The safety profile is generally good for people not on blood thinners. But, and this is important, it's not a replacement for health care. If you have serious circulation issues, blood vessel disease, or deep vein concerns, you need proper evaluation and treatment. Natokinase is a supportive tool, not a primary intervention. That patient I mentioned at the beginning, the one who couldn't tie her shoes, she didn't just take natokinase and call it done. She also worked with me on gentle movement, compression when needed, and proper hydration. The enzyme was one piece of a bigger circulation support puzzle. And that's really the message I want you to take away today. Supporting your circulation as you age is about multiple small, consistent choices working together. Natokinase might be one valuable piece of that puzzle for you. If you found this information helpful, I'd appreciate if you'd give this video a thumbs up. It helps YouTube show this content to other seniors who might benefit. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider joining our community. We're all about evidence-based, practical health information, for living well after 60. Remember, always discuss new supplements with your healthcare provider, especially if you're on medications. Your safety comes first, always. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll discuss another circulation supporting strategy that doesn't cost a penny. Oh, and one more thing. I have uploaded the complete PDF of this lecture on my WhatsApp channel. To get free health tips and daily diet plans just like these, join our WhatsApp community now. Scan the QR code on your screen or click the link in the description below. Stay healthy. Stay happy.